Okay, this video is going to be a little different than anything that I've really done on this channel, but nonetheless, probably the most satisfying. If you're interested in the snow cannon, this is the one that I got off Amazon. And if you're interested in the soap, this is the one that I got off Amazon as well. This video is not sponsored. It's just something that I wanted to do for a really long time. And it honestly turned out way better than I ever imagined. Please don't forget to subscribe, show some love in the comments, give the video a thumbs up. Nonetheless, let's start the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, what I have inside this box is something that like, I don't know, I feel like every guy wants it when he sees it. So I saw those videos online of people being like satisfying, foaming up stuff. Sorry if there's crackling in the background, my girlfriend's making popcorn. I bought this online. This is a MATCC. This is what this is. It's a snow foamer. Uh, it's the actual piece for it. I already opened up this. That's why it's like this. This part was out. All I did was put the tube on, put it in, screwed it on. There's a male three quarter or half inch adapter here that goes into the end of the pressure washer. Thing on this that I can actually adjust, I guess the thickness of the foam, I guess. And this is the cool part. This soap is supposed to be one of the best. I looked on refer reviews. It's not the most expensive. Online, people said that this was the best. And what the crazy part about this stuff is, this is chemical guys, one to two ounces per five gallons of water. So this is one liter. We're gonna call this uh, my unboxing of snow foamer that I bought out of boredom. I forgot to mention that it says to use hot water, so that's what I used here, but I mean, my pressure washer's not hot water, so I don't know. I feel like you should probably be better with a shorter gun, but we'll make it work.
All right, now we take it back to the yard, go get my truck and wash it. Alright, made it back here to the yard with a nice clean truck. Went slow through these puddles. Man. I'm really happy with how it turned out. That, that did a really good job. Check this out. This is a sliding fifth wheel rail. This is the airline that runs to the cylinder underneath that pushes out these blocks here. They're out right now. It was actually getting seized before um, and it normally sits up here. But since I was hauling a camper this morning, I needed the clearance in order so that the camper wouldn't swing and hit these. These do move though. These are bendable. So we need to put the fifth wheel back into the right spot because it's not. We would have too much weight at the back axles and the weight's not distributed right. I don't know the ratios. I'm sure someone in the comments could. So let's slide it back and hopefully it does move back and then locks because last time I had to hammer it. Okay, I think that's where it was sitting. Uh, I'll be able to check. Uh, yep, I think it was right there. Perfect. So hopefully when I lock these, I hit this switch inside. I'll show you guys how I locked them. Hopefully they locked. Nope, they didn't. They're going to need some persuading. This right here is called the persuader. <laughs> there we go. See, see them snap in like that? What I do is disengage the tractor brakes, but I leave the trailer brake brakes locked on. Uh, and that means that if anything wasn't locked on the trailer, that it would slide free. So how to pass this test is you stay in one spot and it just tugs and doesn't do anything. So let's do that. Awesome, everything went great. Uh, we can drop the trailer, uh, release the plate that holds the gooseneck up uh, so that I could take off like that and we're good to go again and then we'll uh, head to the client's house I'll text him now let him know I'm on my way then we'll go back home and uh, clean up the tundra so I came home did my tundra it was dirtier than the tractor was now okay so you guys are gonna see me use a sponge here coming up all like in all fairness I did not use a sponge to wipe down the tractor and I honestly think that the tractor turned out better so if somebody's done this before can you please leave me a comment see I'm using the sponge there if you can leave me a comment let me know are you supposed to wipe this stuff or not because it honestly left streaks on the tundra now I know a lot of people are gonna say well you're in the Sun and I know that but um, I'm definitely want people's comments and stuff, but in the next clip, I'll wrap it up and give you guys my final thought. Well, you guys watched a time lapse of the truck getting washed. This is how the tundra turned out. It actually uh, shined up real nice. I'm really impressed with this thing. Like, and it's in the sun too. Like, look at that. I mean, there's a couple spots where I messed up, like right there. But I mean, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Honeydew Chemical Guys soap as well as the MATCC actual snow foamer itself. But there's one thing I gotta show you guys real quick. Look at that. It would decide to rain the day after that I do all that. So yeah, it's pouring rain today, so everything I did yesterday was not a waste of time, but it sucks, but hey, I get to do it again, and I know what I'm gonna do next time better. But yeah, next time I will be adjusting this to allow less water to come in and more soap to actually get out. But that will make it more thick and less watery, I guess. But nonetheless, I I'm super happy with how it turned out. And uh, so I actually ended up popping this off, and there's still a little bit of soap, I guess, but I ran hot water through this tube, through everything, ran it all out, and washed this out a bunch of times. 
Like I said, it, it is a cheaper version one. You know, if you take care of your tools, then they take care of you. So that's, I strongly believe in that. Now this soap is pH neutral and if I'm not mistaken, I know that that means that it balances out the water so that you don't have dry spots. I think that's what it means, don't quote me. But Chemical Guys Honeydew Soap, I give it, like if I was rating it out of 10, the soap, honestly, I would probably rate it like an 8.2. Now, do I have much to compare it to? Not really. The amount that you have to use is a huge pro. This should last a really long time. I don't really have any cons to this other than it sucks that they're not from Canada and it's not a Canadian company. As for the snow foamer, um, you know, I've never used one before, but for the price of this, I'm actually gonna rate this like a 9.5. If you guys could actually feel this, there's some serious weight to the way, like the mechanics of this. Yeah, I mean, I was just super happy with how it performed. Like I've never used one before, but I really don't have any cons to this. Uh, maybe sometimes it was starting to leak a bit. I couldn't get it tight enough. But other than that, like that's minor. For the price of this, I'm actually gonna rate this like a 9.5. Both these products will be linked in the description down below. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, at KWC2000, I was actually uploading daily as I was doing this, so there's tons more content on there. If you're new to the channel, thanks for tuning in and I appreciate it. Make sure that you are subscribed. I appreciate you guys checking out today's video. And if you guys want me to do more with this sort of stuff, comment down below and let me know. Other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. And of course, I didn't forget about you guys, the true pages of the channel that watched the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you're new to the channel and this is the first video you're watching on mine, a true patriot is somebody who's proud of where they're from and where they come from, and somebody who just stands out and does what they believe in. So today's true patriot word of the day is suds in the bucket. Why suds in the bucket? Well, it used to be an old country song when I was younger, and it wasn't so much suds in the bucket as much as it was a snow cannon. So if you guys watched the entire video to the very end, comment down below suds in the bucket. I appreciate you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.